Hey everybody, it's me Stella Wild back with another pick a card reading. This one is all about signs from the universe, what's coming toward you. So this reading is a pick a card where you get to choose a pile of cards that will look at a message, signs from the universe of what is starting to come toward you. Now, this pick a card is applicable for whenever you watch the video. This could be a month from when I publish it, a day after I publish it, and you put the, the time frame is fluid. I mean, we'll look at the cards and see what they suggest in terms of time frame. So whatever's coming toward you could be within the next week, within the next month. It'll depend on the cards that end up in the pile that you choose. So I hope you enjoy this pick a card. I will be doing a series of these, so I'm gonna number them. So you'll see that in the title. It'll say signs from the universe or signs number one and then what's coming toward you. And it could be a who's coming toward you as well. Possibly, right? We'll have to see what the cards have to say. And I will mix up the cards each each time I do these, these series of readings. Um, so, you know, it won't be the same cards every time. But anyway, thank you for being here, and I hope you enjoy the pick a card. I'm going to share the piles uh, with you in a moment, but let me just say thank you for being here. If you're a new viewer, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you get notified when I release new videos, which is several times a week. Also, if you're a returning viewer, returning subscriber, love you guys. Thank you for coming back. Um, yeah, big heart love to you guys. Um, also, if you have a personal concern and would like a private reading, the link is in the description because I do work with people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so let's get into your reading. I'm very excited to do it and I hope that you will leave a comment and let me know how the energy resonates for you. Okay, let's get into it. Here is your pick a card, the signs of what's coming toward you. Okay, so let's take a look at the card piles. Pile number one here is our Amethyst Heart. Pile number two is our Shamrock, little coin, the Shamrock. And pile number three is our Amber Heart. So take a moment to see which one you would like. Pile number one, number two, number three, Amethyst Heart, Shamrock, Amber Heart. Okay, so let's get into our first pile of cards here. And I will leave the timestamps in the description. So if you did not choose the Purple Heart, which I'm gonna do first, you can fast forward, look at the timestamp, and you'll know where to look for the Amber Heart or the Shamrock. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Each pile has the same number of cards and the same type of cards. Okay, so we have this beautiful purple heart. All right, what do we have here? All right, so I pulled from my regular tarot. So we have regular tarot cards here. We have the King of Wands upside down, the Nine of Swords upright and the knight of cups okay so remember the question is what's coming toward you these are signs of what is possibly coming toward you all right and then we have in my playing cards we have the ace of hearts we have uh the six of oh gosh i think this is the six of swords six of swords here we have Wow, we have the Six of Wands. Two sixes, very interesting. We have Balance. This is very, this is interesting in this card. It's like a soulmate. And then we have Caressa. You are at the end of a cycle in your life. Call upon your angels to comfort you and to guide you to your next step. Happiness awaits you now. Okay, so what's coming toward you is a decided change. Absolutely. A change is coming toward you. When might this change happen? And not, it's not just, oh, it's a change. It's like a major change of your life. So this could be something to do with your home because of this ace of hearts here, which represents the home. This could be someone moving in, someone moving out, selling a home, buying a home, uh, moving cross country, moving to another country. 
So getting new furniture, redecorating, there could be a whole new thing going on in your home. Um, so to me, this energy really corresponds with this. But there's definitely this idea with the Six of Swords, this healing, there's a healing that's going to happen that's coming toward you because of this change in your life. So this big change that's coming is like a destiny change. It's like when we turn the chapter and begin, you know, turn the page and begin a new chapter in our lives. So like I said, it's not just like, oh, I changed my clothes today. I mean, it's like a big change, a big change for you. So you end at the cycle of your life, cycle in your life, excuse me, guide you toward your next step. Ask your angels. Happiness awaits you. It may not be here immediately at this moment, but within six days from when you watch this six i'm feeling like six weeks from when you watch this you're going to have another layer of healing that's going to be done with this situation the idea is to work with your mindset if you believe it you can achieve it napoleon hill i mean think and grow rich this is really this is the message of what's coming toward you if you can change your mindset about this change because there could be some resistance here there could be some resistance to your healing um, and you're not like you could be going down the rabbit hole of grief. Now, I know sometimes that's what happens. Like we process in our own way. Time frames around grief are very personal. So, you know, that's fine. But what's coming toward you, if you've been going through a period of grief and letting go, what's coming toward you is this idea of getting getting yourself back into more of a state of balance if you've been in that state of grief where you've been immobilized you know we've all been there i mean i spent like at one point in my life i spent like a year in a chair and didn't move like that's how much grief i was dealing with so you know and that's an extreme situation so that's what i'm saying i feel like you're starting to come out of that extreme if you've been in grief that extreme grief and getting back to a sense of balance that's what's coming toward you is it going to come tomorrow i don't think it's going to come tomorrow but i feel like it's going to come because you have two sixes here to me that's a time marker you have two sixes so in about six i feel six weeks you're going to be really on a much more even keel um and it really has to do with processing this grief of this person. This could also be, um, well, this could be a couple things. This could be the relationship that ended, that the person left the house, right? Because the house card, the end of the chapter in your life. So this could be, because this is still a general reading, right? Still a general reading, even though it's pick a card, it's still general. So, I mean, this could be the situation where this person, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or they have this very strong in their chart, they left the home. And this left you in a period of depression that you're still trying to come out of for, you know, the last nine months, I'm feeling. So, but look what wants to come in. This is the other sign here. This is passing away. But what wants to come in is a fresh infusion of life force energy this knight of cups there will be something coming toward you that is going to lift your spirits again there's going to be some sort of sign from the universe that you are so valuable the universe needs you the universe loves you the universe you know wants to support you and the people around you want to support you as well and you're going to get that fresh infusion of kind of yes energy from the universe that you are supported you are not alone and that all it really takes right now is some dedicated effort to your healing there's going to be some sort of supporter a support supporter a new group you may get involved when in involved with oh, involved with you know, like a healing support group, something like that, that's going to be instrumental to your journey. Look at this card. Look at this. I want you to look at the imagery in this card. See how this figure, this woman, is peeling back this, like, dark curtain? You're, that's what you're coming out of. You're coming, you've been hiding behind a curtain. You've been at home with the curtains drawn, hiding behind a curtain. You're pulling the curtain open. You're getting the sign from the universe. You're getting support. Someone is trying to get you out of the house and back into life again. All right, that's what's coming toward you. And 
peeling peeling yourself back and out of that state of grief even if it's just for a little while it's going to take time it takes time healing from situations like this but so much is about steering your ship in a new direction and that's the other thing that's coming toward you this new direction in your life okay um but what I'm feeling, what's coming towards you, and that new part of that new direction is going to be a new person because look at this card. And this is this in this deck, this is to me twin flame energy. So somebody's coming, somebody's going to be coming probably in about six months. I don't feel like it's in six weeks. Six weeks from now, you're going to be much more involved with your healing. You have more healing to do. And this is very normal when we're ending a major cycle in our life. We have to process. We have to take stock. We have to see where we've been. Where do we want to go next? There's a lot of you know, self-care that you need to do right now. Uh, and maintaining the balance between, um, you know, kind of, I'm hearing between your past and your future. A lot of you are stuck in the past still with this energy here, grieving this person who left. And, um, you know, it does, you know, sometimes it is, it's hard. I, I mean, I get it. I know. Um, but this person, they showed up upside down. They're not good for you. You liked the idea of them. They looked good on paper. Okay. But in reality, all they did was cause you pain, which is why they are passing away. And, you know, with this energy coming up, they may come toward you one last time for a last hurrah to put this situation finally to rest. Okay? So, and by, by that I mean they could come to you in a dream. They, they don't have to come to you literally like face to face. But that may happen too. There may be some final decision that, um, you know, the lease is fine. For example, the lease is finally over with them. You are finally moving out. They're finally moving out. You're going your separate ways. That's coming toward you. Or it's really recently come to pass within the last like week or month of watching this. So it's still fresh, in other words. So they're still kind of around in your energy. It would be really good to purge anything you have of theirs. Get rid of it. It's energetic stuff that you're holding on to and you need to let it go. Because it's dragging on your energy. It's a holding back your healing, I feel, from these cards, okay? Um, so what's coming toward you is an opportunity to really finally process. I mean, there is a little nine of swords here. But you know how sometimes, and everybody's different, of course. But you know how sometimes you need that one last big cry? Like the one, the last one. Like that's huge, though. It's like, it's like... I mean, you know, if you get, if you vibe with what I'm saying right now, you're going to be like, oh, I know, I totally know what Stella's talking about. You may need that one last heaving, hurling, purging, cathartic, weeping, keening, crying catharsis. You may need that one last big cry. And then, it, like, you'll be amazed at how the energy shifts. So that's what I feel might be coming for you as well, if that's how you process stuff. Um, but this is good. So I love this for you. What's coming for you is a greater healing, a greater um, sense of finding your balance again, and also changing your mindset to chart a new course for your life, accepting that the old path really is over, um, and, and coming out of the darkness, really. It's coming out of the darkness. And, and healing yourself and for some of you if that's not involving a relationship what it's involving is this idea that wherever you have been physically you know your geographical location it's no longer suiting you and you have to kind of grieve the loss of that I think at one time it was a great place for you but your soul is not satisfied there anymore and there could have even been some sort of traumatic incident. It doesn't have to be with a relationship, you know, a love relationship. It could have been something else. But there was some sort of incident that really kind of pushed you over the edge and made you realize and, and caused grief and pain um, that you realize this. I cannot stay in this place anymore. I cannot be in this town, this village, this city, whatever. So 
you're letting go of that and you're going to be charting that new course of where you want to really live next and what your life is going to look like in that new place. So looking toward the future for some of you, that's what's going to be coming in big time. And you're going to get a lot of signs about that, that Knight of Cups. There's, there's going to be, like I said, you may even meet an individual from a new place that and you never maybe even heard of the place before, or you've been thinking about that place. You're like, yeah, maybe I'd like to move there. And all of a sudden, like you're gonna, the universe is gonna bring you somebody from that place. And you're gonna be like, <laughs> like seriously? And because the universe really is so amazing the way it works. And you're gonna get fresh inspiration from this person that, uh, yeah, maybe you don't move there. Maybe that's not the place, but it's gonna open up your mind. It's gonna open up the energetic possibilities and further your healing of understanding that it is time to move from this place where you've been at this location so very good very good energy all right i'm going to pause and take a sip of water and we'll get into pile number two all right so let's get into pile number two this was the lovely cute little shamrock i hope you can see it a little gold it's not real it's just some little tchotchke okay let's see what you have here Okay, confront, clarity of belief, rebuild. Okay, wow, we got some major stuff going on here. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords, the Devil, Justice, so all of this is upright. We have the Queen of Diamonds. This, red, this is a time marker right here, so we'll get back to that. We have Desiree. Conditions aren't favorable right now. Wait or look into other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. This this is definitely like you're going in the wrong direction. Like the energy's not aligned in whatever you're trying to manifest. That's not a bad card though, because remember, rejection is protection. Rejection is redirection. So a redirection is protection. However you want to like work with those phrases. All right, so let's look at this energy. You have major arcana cards here. Like, you have one, two, three, four out of the six cards are major arcana cards. So this is a pivotal time in your life. Something very significant wants to happen. And look, you have two ace. Oh my God, I'm getting chills. Oh, I'm getting chills down my legs. You have two ace of swords. It's just a different deck. But this is the same card. Clarity of belief. Clarity of belief cutting loose that which does not serve you that's what's coming toward you a decision is going to have to be made action is going to be ha i can't why can't i talk today action is going to have to be taken as a result of this decision you make you can't just be making the decision like oh yeah i made this decision i'm clear now okay we're good no you're gonna have to take action and what is the action you're gonna have to take you're going to have to rebuild. What are you rebuilding? You are going to be rebuilding your, well, let me get back to the rebuilding. You're going to be confronting in order to rebuild, in order to rebuild, you're going to be confronting any toxic energies in your life, toxic beliefs, toxic people, toxic behaviors, toxic foods even. I mean, all any type of toxicity, toxic environment. In order to right the wrong, I'm hearing right the wrongs of the past. There's something about the past that is involved in this situation. So the opportunity to do that is coming towards you. And because we have two number ones here, this could happen, this could happen within, I mean, it could happen within a day of you watching this video, but I'm feeling like within a week, within a week of you watching this video or a month, you are going to be cutting loose. Well, first you're going to gain the clarity. I mean, that's what's going to happen. Clarity of belief. I mean, you're going to get so clear on something because it's going to be in your face. I mean, you have the tower card here and the devil. So the situation is going to come at you fast with information that 
of this toxic energy, of this, this energy that doesn't have your best interests at heart. Now, this is still a general reading, even though it's a pick a card, right? So what is this toxic energy? It's going to, you're going to know, I mean, you're going to know in your life what that is. Now, oh God, excuse me. This could be a person. Absolutely. We don't have any court cards here, but I mean, it could be a person. This could be a job. This could be uh, all the things I already said that could be toxic in your life. I don't want to repeat myself. Okay. But so it's going to be individual to each person watching this. But the point is that there has been a feeling of you were getting something out of this situation because that's why you stayed stuck with it. That's why you were chained to it because there was something that you gained from it. Now, if the gains out, if the positives outweighed the negatives, I don't know. That's personal to you. But there is an element of there was a payoff. It may not have been a healthy payoff, but there was a payoff. Um, but what happened is that you realized, and you're going to realize it suddenly, that something about this situation is fundamentally unhealthy. And it is going to be so in your face, so in your face that, you know, you can't, you can't ignore it anymore. So it's going to come quite shockingly, um, I, with this card, I always call it the kick in the butt because it's like the lightning is hitting, hitting her backside here. So it's kind of like the kick in the butt from the universe is going to show you, uh, that you, you really have to deal with this once and for all. Now, how does this Desiree card figure in? I think how this card figures into this energy is that you have to release the toxic situation, but the time is not right yet to like rebuild or um because that's what this card is rebuild so it's not quite right yet i feel like there's gonna be you're gonna need a full three months till then or whenever the next season is that's our time marker from this so whenever the next season is in order to rebuild so so let me explain that a little bit so what i see from these cards from these energies what's coming toward you is an in-your-face incident in which you're going to have to confront somebody or confront yourself. It could just even be yourself, your own toxic behaviors you've been indulging in. Confront yourself and cut it off. You're going to have to cut it off. You're going to finally be like, oh my God, I'm done. I am like so done. Like, why was I not done before? But I'm done now. I'm done. Like, see, like it is done. And it's... It's going to be boom. But, and it's because also there's an element here of injustice. Like you re have realized with these aces, you realize that you were getting an unfair deal, whether that was because of your own behavior or the other person's or just the whole toxic nature of the whole thing. But there was something fundamentally unsound about this association that was not fair to you. So that's why you're going to be letting that go. Now, this card, this Desiree card, to me, this means that I, I feel that some of you are going to want to seek a solution right away. I don't feel the solution is there yet. So if this, so as, as an example, if this situation is about a toxic relationship, you may cut off that relationship and then you're on Tinder the next day, like looking for a new person. And that's this Desiree energy. The time's not right to be doing that. Okay, the, or, um, you know, you finally get the courage up to leave a job and hand in your notice, or you get the courage up to admit to yourself, rather, that the job is really not what you want anymore. The time's not right to just up and quit. You have to wait until the next season. Now, depending on when you watch this video, I'm filming this in June 2019. So, and it's before the solstice. So our next season is coming up in only like a, a couple of weeks. So if, you know, so I only have to wait a couple of weeks. If I'm watching this video and I'm like, yeah, I, I want to get another job, uh, you know, but I can't quit until the next season and I have a plan. Or I want to look for a new relationship. I got to wait until the next season. 
but that's only in a couple weeks. If you watch this in July, your next season's not going to be till September 21st, right? When we hit fall. So that's what I'm saying. This is a time marker card, depending on when you watch this. Oh, wait, wrong card. This is a time marker card for when you watch this. This is about seasons. It's about time. It's about waiting for the right time, which ties in with this card. It's about waiting for the right time to make your move. Because if you make your move earlier, you might be setting yourself up for another injustice. So the universe is asking you to absolutely, it's bringing you the energy of clarity of mind, of decisiveness, of cutting something off, cutting yourself off from perhaps an unhealthy relationship, um, but taking some time, whatever the time marker means for you, as I just explained, to initiate the rebuilding. There will be a rebuilding. So the universe is not going to leave you high and dry. Like you're going to going to have an opportunity to rebuild and have something much better come in because this justice card is here upright. So something that karmically is much better and much more aligned with you is going to come in. But you have to have the patience to wait and to be alert to the timing and not try to force something to happen. Okay, all right, I hope that was helpful. Okay, so now let's get into the third pile, which is with my beautiful Amber Heart. Amber Heart, okay. Jack of Diamonds. Okay. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, Knight of Pentacles upside down, Eight of Swords, Three of Cups. Adriana, leading to you toward the answer to your prayers. Listen to your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. And then we have uh, Ace of Pentacles, strengthening bonds. The world, embrace, and the death card, release. Oh, I'm getting, now I'm getting like really hot. Oof. I wasn't hot through any of the other readings, so the energy is really running with your reading. There's something I'm feeling from these cards and from the energy that's starting to come through for me. And this sometimes happens. Um, you want something really badly. Okay, group number, number three, my amber heart. You want something very badly and you want the universe to deliver the message fast. And the universe is going to deliver the message very fast to you. Um... I think what's been happening is that you have been wanting a release from a financial situation that has been very slow to change. <laughs> very slow to change. Okay, this Knight of Pentacles upside down. Very slow to change. I'm going to have to put on the air conditioning. Hold on. I've been trying not to put the fan on because it makes noise in the background, but had to do it. And I turned up the AC. So let's see. It's been, just been so hot here. All right, so as I was saying, you've been waiting for this monetary situation to change, and that's what's coming toward you. The change is coming, and it's going to come very fast, this jack of diamonds. There's going to be a very fast message coming to you, and I think what will happen is that you will have a sense of it. You will you will know when it's coming in. It's It's like... It's like your psychic radar. It's, you know, if you've seen that, you know, on a radar screen and you know how you, there's a little blip at the end of the, the radar screen, like come, the incoming, like you're going to be so like on with your intuition that the moment that the energy starts to shift and you get news of this situation changing, the little blip comes in, you're going to be like, oh my God, it's coming. Like, I know it's coming. So you have been so wanting to be released from this very slow moving financial situation. You have felt trapped because of your finances. You have felt like you can't go out and do anything, like not even something simple like go to a movie. It's like you haven't even had money to go to a movie. You have just been trapped in a situation of 
looking pot perhaps for a job and there's just nothing coming or you're working at a job that's like minimum wage and because you can't find anything else you know it's like that type of energy but look what's coming there's going to be a celebration what's the celebration being released from this situation you're going to be back in the world again back on top again i love that van morrison song back on top again and you are going to be in the world again because there's something about this financial situation like i said part of it is that you haven't had the money to go do anything but part of it whatever job you are doing to try, kind of just get by it's not fulfilling you of course and also it's keeping keeping you um trapped and not in the world like you're not i'm getting the sense that you're just not engaging with people or you feel i'm also sensing from this like i'm seeing a big um like open office area with lots of cubicles and there's like uh, thousands of people in them but nobody talks to one another because could, you could just be doing like work on the phone but that's not really connecting you get what i'm saying and everybody's like in their little like cubicle or five by five or four by four little box and it's it's like horrible like that's the feeling i'm getting so you've been cut off from the world but this is ending now this is of course still a general reading but i'm feeling it's to do with your finances because of the night here and you know the ace of pentacles is also here i'll get to that in a second so from whenever you watch this video because this is still you know a general reading and i'm filming this in june of 2019 you could be watching this a year from now or eight months from now or you know next week i don't know but it's going to be either within three weeks or three months that this will change now i know some of you are like three months geez like i've been in this situation for forever stella can it speed up a little bit <laughs> well it might it might just be three weeks but my feeling from this energy is you've been kind of you've been giving up a little bit you have kind of settled for this situation because you have been putting yourself out there and nothing's been happening please don't give up i think that's what i'm feeling from this energy do not give up in your quest to get out of this situation keep your focus on release and freedom and what you want to create you're getting a little caught up and feeling stuck and i don't blame you i mean i understand but the more you stay in that, I'm stuck, I hate this, bleh, you know, you just keep perpetuating that energy. So, you know, we've all, all of us have been there. I've been there too. I get it. I totally get it. But even when I was in a situation that I didn't really care for very much, <laughs> I tried to shift it into gratitude. I tried to shift it into, well, at least my bills are being paid. See what I'm saying? So like shift it, shift it into gratitude. Try to shift it out of this place is, you know, keeping me stuck away from my soul work. This place is terrible. These people are terrible, <laughs> you know, like all of that. Try them, they don't pay me enough, you know, try to shift it and do something positive and productive for yourself every day to shift out of this energy. This could just be doing your scripting work every morning, writing in the present tense, your new reality and what that looks like for you. Because it's coming. This is beautiful. It is coming. This is what's coming toward you. This is what you're leaving behind. This is the release, what's gonna be released. Look, the world, you're going to be back out there again on top of the world. I mean, that's what this is. You're going to be on top of the world having something beautiful to celebrate, which is this new opportunity that's coming in. You're going to be walking on the money path. I mean, look at this card. This is Ace of Pentacles, baby. You're going to be walking on this money path. Look at all the bright light. Beautiful card. This could also be within a month because of this ace here, but I'm feeling it's going to be more, eh, I'm going to say three months for a lot of you. I'm sorry, but, but it's okay because I feel like there's a, the other the important thing about this message is there's something about your vibration that needs to just be tweaked and changed a tiny bit and you'll manifest it faster. Okay. So just like I said, keep the focus on that positive the positive energy where you can 
Um, as it says here, Adriana, I am leading you toward the answer to your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. Now, I'm going to tell you a little Stella story. <laughs> long time ago. <laughs> At least, like, God, how long ago was that? Like, over 20 years ago. I was living in Manhattan, and I was working at one of these jobs that I just described to you. I was working at one of these jobs, and I was so disgusted. And it was the middle of winter, at, like, January, right? And, I mean, I was, like, barely making it on my own in the city, right? Barely making it. And um, I didn't even really have money for the subway. I mean, it was bad. It was bad. I was, like, barely and or I tried to save money by walking a lot, which is great in the city, right? Try to save, you know, subway fare. Um, and so it was a very cold January day. I left this, this job and I was walking down the street and I was also working a part-time job somewhere else, uh, which I liked, okay? But they just, it was just only part-time. And I left the disgusting job and my, my angels spoke to me. They spoke to me. You know, I, if you've watched my videos, you know I get my information a lot from Claire Audient. I get a lot. And they said, go to this place. To go to the place, the job I actually like that I was doing just part-time. Go there now. And I'm like, what do you mean go there now? Like, what? It's, it's like the middle of, like a Wednesday in like the middle of January. It's snowing out. Like, why am I having to go there now? <laughs> so, and I went... And it just so happened that that morning, somebody had quit unexpectedly a full-time job. I mean, I didn't know about any about any of this. And my boss at the time said, we want you to do that job. And it was a full-time job. Okay? Now, <laughs> that's Adriana right there. That's Adriana. So... Please, when you get intuition, intuitive hits like that, don't ignore them. You may not know the reason. I really didn't know. I'm like, all right, because it was so clear and specific. And that was even back in the day when like, I mean, yeah, I've always been intuitive, but it's like, I, I was still kind of like, really? You know? <laughs> but I listened. That's the important part. I listened and I went and look what happened. And then I could quit the terrible job and I was in cele celebration and I have you know, had a good time at that place where I ended up. So that's what I'm saying to you, please. It could come for you in dreams. You could get a strong sense you have to go somewhere or talk to someone. Listen to it because it could be leading you to opportunities doorstep. You really don't know. Um, and it's going to come in fast. That's the other thing. Jack of Diamonds is quick communication. It's very, very quick. So... Make sure the next three months that your spidey senses, as I like to call them, your spidey psychic radar is on high alert and don't discount or dismiss any intuitive hits you get. Try to follow them up because you, the universe works in very mysterious ways. I mean, it really does. But this is the energy coming toward you. There is going to be a new job, a new opportunity. This for some of you is going to also involve travel because of the path in this card with this image, the path, she's on a path, there is a road. So it could, it may not manifest immediately with the job, but it could be a potential a little bit later that you will be traveling for this company that you get involved with or as part of this job that you're doing, or you could even, um, win, I'm hearing for some of you, you're gonna win a trip with this particular company um you know sometimes like if you especially if you're in sales you know they have like trips as sales incentives so that could even be something that happens to you within a year of joining that company that you end up going on some beautiful beautiful trip because we have the world card it's also about travel for you it's about getting out and about again so uh, that's beautiful energy that's coming up for you so what's coming toward you really is a quick, and when I say quick, I mean, it could be three weeks, three months, you know. Three months is still quick in the grand scheme of things. Just have to cultivate a little patience. 
but a quick turnaround in your circumstances where you've been closed off, shut off from the world due to a lack of finances, due to a lack of um, really, and you, don't have, you have like no interest in what you're doing either. That's all gonna change. You're gonna be reconnected with the world. You're going to have an interest in what you're doing. You're going to be on a money path. Very beautiful energy for you. So I hope that resonates. Leave me a message in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and for putting up with my, with my, this is, this was very intense. Like I felt this energy from this, this particular pile. I mean, all the piles, you know, the other two piles were great too, but there was something about this pile with this energy. And I feel it's because of there's somebody out there who really needs this message right now, like really needs it. And I'm picking up on your energy. Like I feel it. I feel it through the YouTube screen. I feel it and I'm feeling you. And let me tell you, I've been there. It's going to get better. You'll be fine. So all the best to you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.